Welcome back to my Chrome extensions crash course lesson number five and in today's video I'm going to be going over the background scripts and this is going to be a part two so if you haven't watched part one then make sure that you do but in today's video we're going to be finishing what we started in the last part and I'm also going to be going over how we can save data in our background scripts but now let's get started and I was actually open Wikipedia and I'm going to show you how we're going to make this work so we're going to be adding an attribute to the body so let's actually just go to our css file and i'll show you so we're going to go to the body here and we're going to be adding an attribute called theme and if theme is going to be equal to dark then we're going to be adding all of these variables and styles so if we reload now it's going to be light theme but if we go to the body here and we're going to add this attribute so theme equals to dark then we're going to see this go back to dark theme and we're going to be saving it in the background scripts and this is going to be another thing that is going to be very useful to you because i use it a lot and you're going to be most likely using it a lot too because you're not going to be saving it in the pop-up js or the content scripts but it's going to be in the background so you're going to be able to send it to any file and so on and for actually do that, we're going to have to go to manifest.json and add storage in the permissions. Now we can go back here and we're going to make a boolean, which is called, let's write, let dark theme. And that's going to be equal to false. And there's a lot of multiple ways in which we can do this, but I'm going to try to go with the easiest one. And so if we've toggled to dark theme, then we're going to change this to true. And then we're going to save it. So we're going to write chrome dot storage dot local dot set. And then the name of the variable is going to be the same. So we can do dark theme and then it's going to be set to dark theme. And so if things look a bit different now, it's because I forgot to record a small part, which is going to be how we can get our storage. So how we can get our dark theme outside of here. And you don't need to remove anything, but all you need to do is just add what we're going to write. And then over time, we're going to be removing and adding different things. But what we're going to do now is outside of here, when the background scripts runs, the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to set the dark theme to false. And then what we need to do is we need to get the dark theme from the storage if it exists. And then we need to set the dark theme variable that we have here to the dark theme that we have saved. So we need to get it first, and to do that, we're going to write almost the same thing, but it's just going to be a bit different. So we're going to write chrome.storage.local, and then instead of set, we're going to write get. And then in here, we're going to write the name of it, which is going to be dark theme. So dark theme. And then we're going to run a callback function. In this function, we're going to get the stored theme. And then in this callback function, let's console log it. And before we actually go and check if it's going to work, we have to fix this mistake. So dark theme, capitalize the T. And now we can go back here. Let's reload everything. I'm going to open it again. And now we're going to see that it's going to be true. So let's go back here and we're going to remove this from our uninstalled. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set dark theme to equal to store theme dot think it was. Let's actually just comment this out real quick and see what it was. So go back here dot dark theme. So it's going to be store theme dot dark theme. And then so dark theme. Let's fix everything else now. So this this all right and then we're gonna have to make an if statement so if stored theme exists then we're gonna do that and then if we actually go back here let's see it was true and we go back here we can see that it's unchecked so we need to render the checkbox when we open the pop-up so let's make a function called render checkbox and then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to send a message to background to see if it's checked or not. So do that. Let's fix this part. So the message is going to be dark theme. We should get a true or false. And let's actually make this a bit more professional. So let's 
make another if statement. So if message dot from file equals to pop up dot js, then we're gonna run this in here, and then in here we're gonna write else if message dot data, and I'm pretty sure this was message, so changes to data equals to dark theme. Then we're gonna send response, and then dark theme. And now we can go back here and it's gonna console log all of that. So let's reload everything. Let's see if it worked. So if we go back here, we get no console logs and that's because I need to render this function. So let's go here, run our checkbox, reload everything again. Let's inspect it again. So inspect console and we get unidentified. And so I'm pretty sure it's because I misspelled it again. So yeah, that's why. Let's go back again, reload everything. Um, and to go here. So let's inspect this and we get an object and it's true. So now that that works, what we're going to do is write if response dot dark theme equals to true. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on that button. So we can do checkbox dot click like this. And now it should work. So let's open it now. Let's select it, open it again. And I keep doing small mistakes for some reason. So it's not a string, it's a Boolean. So it should be true. And now if we open it again, we can see that it's going to be checked. But then if we unselect it and open it again, it's still going to be checked because in the background here, we don't have uh, so the opposite. So if message or data is false, then we're going to have to save it when the dark theme is going to be set to false. So that's what we have to do now. So let's go here and write else if. And then we can listen here. Let's copy this part, paste it in here. Not that part, I meant this part. And then we can paste it in here again. And then if it equals to false, then we're going to do all of that. Paste this in here. We're going to change this to false. And so now it should work. So if we open it, we can see that it's going to be checked. Close it, open it again, still checked. But then if we uncheck it, close it, and open again, it's still going to be unchecked. So now that that works, we have to work on the content script. And so let's go ahead and go here. Let's do the same thing. So copy this, paste it in here, and we can write render theme. Here we're going to send the message dark theme to for the data. From file is going to be changed to content script. And then we're going to do a few different things in here. But let's just console log dark theme so that we know that this works and now we're going to go here and here we're going to write else copy this and this is why I did what I did from before to make this look a lot more professional and actually work with this easier so then this is going to go from popup.js to content script .js and then in here forgot to write else if here we're going to write send response and then in here we're just going to put the dark theme. So now we can go reload everything, go to Wikipedia, and we should get a console log. So I'm not really sure why it's not working. So it's not working because I forgot to call the function again. So reload everything again, go back here, reload, and now we can see that it says dark theme. And the last thing that we have to do is going to be changing the attribute so we're going to do document dot query selector we're going to select the body and then we're going to set attribute dark or i think it was theme and we're going to set and we're going to set it to dark now let's reload everything and now we're going to see that it's going to change to dark theme and then if we change it back to light theme and reload, then we can see that it's gonna go back to light. And I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm not gonna work on how you can change the theme when you click on it instead of having to reload. 
but this is going to be the very basics of the background.js and i really hope that you learned a few things so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure that you leave a like subscribe follow me on instagram and hopefully see you in the next video